you're watching a screaming fish here, people. And once again, I'm here for you guys with another video, as well as a cat on my leg. Yes, I have a cat. Anyway, uh, as you can tell by the incredibly obvious title at the bottom of the screen, we are taking a look at the film Death Note, which is an adaptation of the beloved anime series of the same name. And also, ironically, a movie I've been excited for, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not like there's a million other things I've been excited for. Anyway, um, without further ado and uh, further weird images of me stroking my cat, I'm uh, going to continue with this review, so uh, let's go do that. Death Note is a movie that I have been looking forward to for a good while now. I will admit, I haven't watched a lot of the anime, but I have seen quite a few episodes now, and I will admit, I'm fairly enjoying it, and I definitely want to watch more of it. Part of the reason I was so excited for this movie is because of the premise. I like the idea of a story focusing on a character who is all of a sudden given the power to decide who lives and who dies. That, on paper, sounds like it could be an amazing movie. This movie is directed by Adam Wingard, who has made some pretty critically praised movies like Your Next and The Guest, as well as being the future director of the soon-to-be-released Godzilla vs. King Kong movie, which I am really excited for. I really thought Wingard was a very good choice for this movie, and the awesome trailers for this movie seem to be proving that point. Unfortunately, things were not going well for this movie from the get-go. Before the film was even released, people were complaining about the supposed whitewashing of the characters and a change of setting from Tokyo to the US. Basically, what happened with Ghost in the Shell. Mostly. Finally, the film was released on Netflix on the 25th of August 2017, and a few days after it was released, I finally found the time to sit down and give it a watch. And now that I've watched it, I can say that the film Death Note is... not good. Quite terrible, actually. This movie is so baffling to me. This could have been spectacular. It could have been the next big thing after films like Okja, but no. Somehow, they managed to royally mess this one up. Where do I even begin with this movie? First off, let's have a look at the supposed characters. Nat Wolf as Light Turner went from being absolutely terrible to just meh. His performance is about as compelling as staring at a wall for an hour and a half, and in the scenes where he actually screams, I honest to god thought it was Shia LaBeouf wearing a face mask and pretending to be Nat Wolf. Not to mention that this character also somehow manages to be the most unlikable and arguably the dumbest of the lot. He makes so many dumb decisions in this movie that it's actually staggering to me that he's even alive by the second act of the movie. It also doesn't help that he's also completely uninteresting. His motivation for even using the Death Note in this movie is abundantly cliched. This is just such a departure from the character we were introduced to in the original anime who was arguably more interesting as a character and his motivation for using the Death Note felt fresh and original. In the anime, Light is a really smart kid. He in the movie, the only phrase I can really use to describe him is my favourite line from The Defenders. A thundering dumbass. Unfortunately, his presence becomes worse as soon as the romance kicks in. This movie has one of the most confusing romances I have ever seen. There's a scene in which his girlfriend tries to do something horrible to Light, but then a day later he forgives her just like that. And the exact same thing happens at least three times in this movie. The romance is not even given any time to blossom or grow, it just jumps into it without any further development on why these two characters even love each other that much. They literally just meet, have a conversation about the Death Note, and then they are immediately in love. That's basically the romance in Death Note. The way in which his girlfriend is handled is just strange. She makes life-changing decisions that will put her in danger of losing her life as well as being in trouble with the law within a split second. There's never a scene where she looks back on her decision and thinks, am I doing the right thing? There's never any form of characterization to really give her a reason to go on this crusade with light. So I'm just left to assume that she's just a really dumb character. Margaret Qualley, apologies for butchering the hell out of that name, she plays Light's girlfriend, who I thought was excellent in The Nice Guys, which was one of my favourite films of last year. She was not good here. She actually really annoyed me as this character, who is so dumb and forgettable that I can't even remember her name. By the third act, I was dreading the time when she would appear on screen next. She is so poorly written and bland. I think Margaret Qualley is a really good actress, which is why I believe most of my problems with her acting ability in this film are to do with the writing. And oh my god, the writing. The writing in Death Note is abominable. The dialogue is so terribly written that it seems as though even the actors portraying these characters know this. It actually feels like this dialogue is so bad that it's almost impossible for most of these actors to even deliver it with any kind of charismatic charm or wit. Oh, and don't even get me started with the plot. 
Aside from the incredibly stupid and undeniably confusing choices that these characters make, the overall plot of Death Note basically consists of an overabundance of subplots and characters, some of which are given no character development before they're unceremoniously killed off. This movie even goes as far as to montage through all the most important events during Light's time with the Death Note. When that montage ended, I felt like a million different story gaps had been created. The film literally rushes past Light's rise to power as the vigilante Kira within the space of about three minutes. Because of that, events are mentioned and then talked about, but the problem is you're not going to understand those scenes unless you've watched a majority of the anime. This is also the part where Light starts to enjoy what he's doing with the Death Note and doing more with it to impress his girlfriend. Yes, that is Light's main motivation for killing people with the Death Note. He's trying to impress his girlfriend. I mean, come on! They also tried to add a fair bit of teen drama into the movie, and it just doesn't work at all. Not only is it completely forgettable and honestly a waste of the film's runtime, but that tone just doesn't go well with the rest of the movie, and then because of that, the film immediately loses its flow, and when these two tones eventually meet, it does not mix well. It's a very tonally inconsistent movie in that regard, but the problems with the tone don't stop there. This movie will go from a scene that's purely implemented for dark comedy to something really dark and disturbing. And while I do appreciate dark comedy, minus one pretty funny line from Ryuk, none of the comedy works and the darker and disturbing scenes feel forced. This movie's use of gore does not help the film at all. It actually works against it. The death scenes aren't even cool or any form of epic. They're actually so over the top to the point where it's like watching a more adult version of a Looney Tunes cartoon. And on that note, some of them are just unintentionally hilarious. The music choices in this film are more baffling than the music choices in Suicide Squad. Granted, all the songs chosen here are really good songs in reality, but the way in which they are incorporated into the film just doesn't make sense. There was a scene in which a character died, and the song that's playing in the background is The Power of Love by Air Supply. What? Again, really good song, didn't fit the tone. It drained it of any significance, actually. Whenever an important character died, I didn't feel anything because they were either underdeveloped, annoying, or it was ruined by a tonally inappropriate song in the background, and sometimes it was a combination of the three. One thing that people seem to like about this movie is the character L, played by Keith Stanfield. I really like quirky and weird characters in movies, and L is certainly that in this film. Unfortunately, while the performance was definitely on point, I could never get behind him as a character. I also thought they turned him into a whimpering crybaby in this movie, who got annoying pretty quickly. As for the character Ryuk, this is the closest we get to an interesting character. He looks absolutely amazing and I love his design. Willem Dafoe played this character beautifully, easily the best part of the movie. That said, while the performance was fantastic, his motivations are so convoluted and misguided. He doesn't do much in the film either, he basically just stands around and just talks to Light about the Death Note or taunts him and that's really it. This could have been a fantastic movie. Somewhere in here there is a potentially great movie with great characters and a compelling plot. But they just took this movie in completely the wrong direction. I wish I had liked this movie more than I did. I wish it was a good movie. But it's not. When I saw Ghost in the Shell earlier this year, I thought it was fine. But if you had asked me which film adaptation of an anime would be better, I would have easily said Death Note. However, now when you ask me the exact same question, I would sigh very heavily and say Ghost in the Shell. Death Note was very disappointing, and I have no intention of rewatching it anytime soon. So guys, those are my thoughts on Death Note. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I could not like that film, I'm sorry. I thought Death Note was absolutely terrible and a real disappointment because I was actually looking forward to it. But, oh well, what can you do? Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video once again. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I will indeed see you guys in the next one. But before I go, I would just like to ask you guys... What did you think of Death Note? Did you think it was good? Did you think it was bad? Did you think it was somewhere in the middle? Please leave your thoughts down in the comments below. And I will indeed see you guys in the next one. So, goodbye.